let's talk about setting up billing rates at an activity level. Now, from our navigation bar, we're gonna go ahead and select My Company. And from the dropdown, we're gonna go ahead and select Field Values. Now, our categories are automatically going to be the first option that will pop up within our field values. So what we want to do is make sure that we jump in, have all of our options listed by clicking on Add New Value, entering the information in on the right, and then if you scroll all the way down, you can see that we can apply a billing rate to each of the options that our employees can select within their timesheet. So for today's purposes, we're going to bounce back to our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, jump into our activity rates, and you can see that I have this set up for bookkeeping for our 2017 base rate will be $50, and for our discounted rate, it will be $45. To make sure that this corresponds properly with our big time environment, I'll jump into my bookkeeping option. We'll go ahead and we'll change the base rate and our discounted rate. Now we can go ahead and save. Now, in order to make sure that these are the rates that will correspond with the correct project, we'll go ahead and close out our field values, go to My Company from our navigation bar, select Project List from the drop down, and we'll go ahead and we'll jump into, let's see, Gringotts. Again, we'll go ahead and jump into the Bill Rates tab, and what we'll want to do is make sure that we choose the category that we want it to be our primary multiplier for whenever we submit our timesheets into Big Time. So we'll go ahead and we'll choose Category 2017 Base Rate. So what this is telling Big Time is, hey Big Time, whenever we enter time in for Gringott Staff Consulting, it's going to bill out at the base rate of category 2017 base rate. We can go ahead and save changes. Now, once time is entered into the system and submitted, it will then go ahead and use this as its primary multiplier. Now, when using billing rates at an activity level, we do also want to make sure that we have the correct corresponding column in our timesheets. So I clicked on time and expense and timesheets from our dropdown. We will want to make sure that we click on our gear icon. And then of course, we want to make sure that we add the column for category. Now what this is doing is this will go ahead and actually give our employees the option to be able to select the category, which is going to drive the primary billing rate. So if we add a timesheet row, Go ahead and pull up our Gringotts project. Now we can still have our task, but what's important is that we have our category. So that way we have a multiplier for big time to use when calculating our WIP or work in progress. We hope you enjoyed today's video and have a great day.